y'all, it's Laura, and I'm back with my very last advent calendar day, day 24. Let's see what's inside. Oh boy, we've got a large wood veneer that says, Joy, Love, Peace, and Happy Christmas. We've got a little envelope that you can undo the twine and open says you are being good has a little letter on the other side and then we have the prompt so let's get started on day 24 so for day 24 I have this large 6x8 photo of our tree and a smaller 4x6 photo of our stockings all set out and ready on Christmas Eve for the kids to find the next morning and I wanted to keep the large photo pretty simple. I figured a small cluster and my number and we'll call it a day. <laughs> I really want that photo to shine and to definitely be its own center of attention. Our Christmas tree is not very big. It's actually only about six feet tall, maybe. <laughs> but with five kids, we had a ton of presents underneath of it and around it. <laughs> and in it <laughs> so that was a very packed filled tree this last year and so like I'm gesturing there I am gonna put a little bit of uh, washi tape down there at the bottom trying to decide which one to create a little bit of a border at the end and then I'm going to just do a very small cluster in one corner and that will be it for this page now I did try to keep day 24 and 25 fairly flat and the reason that I did that is because yes it's a bulky album <laughs> <laughs> so there's not going to be a ton of really thick embellishments or layering in these next two days. Now, I did want to do a 6x8 layout of the stockings that will be right directly behind the tree because, you know, they're right behind each other in the album. And so I need them to both work in the page protector. These are printed from my local pharmacy, so they're not Canon selfie photos, and I do not want them outside of a page protector because they will show fingerprints and dust and... <laughs> fade over time if they're not properly protected. I did use some Nuvo Drops, at least I think I did, uh, <laughs> use some Nuvo Drops on that 24 to make it white. I could have just painted it, but I have found that a lot of wet mediums on these wood veneer numbers make them warp. And Nuvo doesn't seem to do that. So I just went ahead and used my white Nuvo and it worked just fine. It also gives it kind of an interesting uh, bumpy feel because it is a dimensional mixed media item. So that's kind of cool as well. I am going to put in my journaling handwritten this time because I may have used up all of my Canon selfie paper. <laughs> <laughs> printing all of the photos for day 25. As you can imagine, Christmas Day is a very, very busy, picture-heavy day for us. And so there are quite a few pictures there, and I ran out of the paper. And still on that spending freeze <laughs> for a few more days anyway. And I don't want to break it. I've been doing so well. I did add a small acrylic tree that was in my advent calendar from earlier this month and a little puffy sticker and this one is just about done just going to add in my journaling so what i'm talking about in journaling here is that for the first time in many 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 years probably 10 years i actually had all of my christmas presents wrapped and ready to go before the night of Christmas Eve, which never happens. <laughs> I always have way too many presents to wrap. I get behind. We have so many holiday parties that I have to wrap those first. And the last minute Christmas Eve craziness is legendary at our house. Often we have to send the kids to bed early because we have so much work to do. And it was really nice this last year not to have that happen. On the opposite side, though, I did end up pushing back a lot of my December daily, though, too. I'm just now finishing it at the end of January because I was so focused on present wrapping and preparations and not so much on the scrapping. So, a little give and take there. <laughs> 
I am going to just use a border strip. This is just a branding strip from one of the Felicity Jane papers. And just add that as kind of a partial mat around this photo, just to sort of lift it up off of that busy pattern paper background. And I'm definitely trying to use up as many scrap pieces of paper left in my kit as possible because any full size pieces will just go into my Christmas box and all of the partial pieces will be cut down into either Project Lifestyle cards or into tags. I find that's the most useful shapes and sizes for me and I seem to use those. So that is what will happen very, very soon <laughs> now that this is done. So my stocking situation is always a little bit amusing to me because my husband and I's stockings are first and they're of course full, but there's not a bunch of extra things. And then each of the kids has several presents in addition to what fits in their stocking. And so it tends to look like a mini pile of presents on the couch. I am using this little puffy sticker that came with the Felicity Jane side of my kit. And I really, really loved the Felicity Jane kit this year. But I may have to consider for next year using my stash only. Ooh, that's a bit scary. Uh, <laughs> or perhaps just getting very minimal supplies and using up my stash for Christmas this year. It's pretty overwhelming what's in that box. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a couple of tags up here in the top left corner. Speaking of tags, I do enjoy tags. And I'm just gonna add them in the top left corner as an anchor for this really cute little let's stay home uh, chipboard piece. And I wanted to use that because for us, Christmas Day is very, very busy. It's wild. It's crazy. And I really wanted us to enjoy Christmas. So a couple of years ago, my husband and I agreed that Christmas Day, we do not leave the house. We stay home. The kids play their toys. My husband and I relax. And we all just enjoy a little downtime on Christmas Day. Now, leading up to Christmas Day, quite often we have multiple parties, we have multiple family events, and those are great, those are fun, we really enjoy them. But for Christmas Day, I really think it's important that we take the time to enjoy each other's company and that we model for our kids that it's more important to spend time together than it is to worry about going to seven different houses to open hundreds of presents. We don't need that. <laughs> Not to mention it is overwhelming. I don't know if you have experienced this, but even if you don't have kids, having to go to multiple houses on Christmas day can be very overwhelming. Oh yes, yes, yes. So I have put those tags down in the top left corner. I'm gonna add in that little chipboard piece and I've put some twine into both of those tags. I'm trying to use up all of those trims in my kit as well, because if there's just small pieces left, I'll probably throw them away. I'm really trying hard to be very intentional about what goes into my stash and what doesn't. And while that's hard, it's very necessary because I am running out of space. <laughs> and it is definitely my intention to bust some stash this year and to do very minimal buying. We'll see how we go. <laughs> that is the intention. Have added in a little silver heart and one of those little word phrase strips. I really liked these this year. They are very interesting words, but I mean, they're to the point, and I've used a lot of them, so I think that works out really well. So that's it for day 24, and now for day 25. For day 25, we have a lot of photos. <laughs> that was just, that was going to happen. There was no way getting around that. Let's be real. And I thought, let's, at first I thought, let's do a pocket page. And then I thought, you know what? I don't want to do a pocket page. I don't want to. That's I mean, that's where we're at. I don't want to. So I decided to use this little black envelope and I'm going to go ahead and create a mini portfolio. It's just a little three folded out portfolio and this use this little vellum pocket on the outside to hold two of my photos. So that way all eight of my photos fit into a very small compact area but it's easy to pull them out and look at them. It's really not a big deal to just pull them out and 
it's a fun interactive element and I haven't done that in a couple of pages. And I really was trying to have a nice mix of those interactive elements and pocket pages and regular layouts and have a nice mix so that it's an interesting album to look through. Speaking of look throughs, the flip through for this album will be going up later today. What? Yes. And it's going... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, made myself laugh. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to show you guys all of the really fun things that are in this album. And if you're just now finding me, I do have process videos for every single day in this album. And they're saved in a playlist called December Daily 2018. Imagine that. And I really like how this came out. This was really quick. It was really fast. I just grabbed a large strip of paper that was a scrap. And it was about 12 inches by four and a half, I think. And at first, here I am. I'm thinking I'm going to have to do a pocket page, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> then it occurs to me, no, I don't have to do a pocket page. If I can create something that folds all of these photos into each other, then I don't have to do a pocket page. So I've just grabbed this strip here that is 12 inches by roughly four and a half. Like I said, it does have the branding strip down at the bottom. And I am going to grab my lovely cutter. What is it called? My Fiskars cutter. And I'm going to use it as a um, scoring tool essentially. I have a little bone folder and I'm going to use that little indent there to score my paper. Be careful with this though because those indents are rather deep and I did end up creating a very small tear in my paper being a little too brusque <laughs> with the bone folder. And so I'm just going to fold those up, add in my photos, and this is going to be done. It is such a fun, quick little way to put a lot of photos into a small space in your December daily. I really enjoyed working in this size. I have to say that. I haven't done a lot of 6x8 outside of December Daily. I've done one other album, which I've been meaning to flip through for you guys. And other than that, I haven't done any other 6x8, but I really enjoy it. I've done a lot of 8x8s. I've done all of my kids have a first year baby album in 8x8. And I ran into issues with it with each one of them because I kept trying to use large photos. <laughs> and I think had I tried to use smaller photos, it would have been a much more enjoyable process. So I'm just going to glue all of these things down. I did add a little bit of this gorgeous floral washi tape to secure the edges there because like I said, I did kind of get a little bit tough with the bone folder and yeah some of it may have ripped i am by the way adding adhesive underneath of my washi and i do that if i'm going to have an interactive element like this i don't trust washi if it's going in a page protector it's not as big a deal because the page protector will keep it in place and if i have to fix it later then so be it but in this case it's going to be an interactive element and if it starts falling apart that's a problem i don't want that to happen and so I'm just going to add a little bit of double-sided tape to reinforce that washi, give it a little extra strength, and also to help fix those slight tears from my excited bone foldering. <laughs> now this will just be three pieces. I am going to cut off that fourth piece in just a moment. It is too short to hold photos anyway. And I don't have any journaling to add in here because like I said, <laughs> I may have run out of Canon selfie paper. <laughs> so... This may have journaling added to it later. It may not. We, I may just decide that it's done. I'm covering up the opposite side of the branding strip with this washi tape. And then I'm just going to tape in my photos. I would love to know in the comments below, did you do a December daily this year? If you did not, what do you do to document your Christmas photos? Do you do full-size layouts? Do you do little mini books? Do you do something else? Maybe a traveler's notebook. I know those were very popular this year. So let me know what you did to document December. I don't know if I'll switch it up next year. Well, I guess the end of this year or not. We'll have to wait and see how I feel about it at that point. Though I do really enjoy six by eight size. It wouldn't be smaller. <laughs> Whatever I do would not be smaller than six by eight. <laughs> 
So as you can see, as I'm adding the photos in, I'm going to keep the embellishing very minimal on this because I want it to remain very flat. Like I said, there's not a lot of room left in my album and it's got to fit in that pocket and that pocket is fairly narrow. So I don't want to add a lot of bulk and then it not fit. I don't want you to have to fight to get it out of the pocket. <laughs> That last year's December Daily had a couple of items like that that I added just a little bit too much decoration to, and they're a bit of a struggle to get things out of those pockets. I am very excited to flip through this album for you guys. I have already kind of looked through it myself, and it's, you know what, it's exactly what I wanted this year. It is exactly, perfectly what I had in mind, and I'm really excited to see uh, a vision come to fruition that it's a nice mix of interactive and all the different pieces. I love the mix of the two kits that I put together. Well, I didn't put them together. <laughs> <laughs> that I purchased, that other people put together. <laughs> and I'm just going to add some journaling strips on here, just some little word phrase strips on here from the Felicity Jane side. And that's all I'm going to do to this kit. I will give you a little bit of decoration on the outside of that envelope though, because I can't just leave things alone. I'm just going to add a label that says Merry Christmas and then my number 25. And that will be just about it. I think I had a wood veneer and a couple of puffy stickers to decorate the tree because I can't leave it plain. I just, it's not gonna happen that way. But I hope you have enjoyed this process video. I will punch holes into this envelope and insert it into my album off camera. And until next time, y'all, bye.